Whenever you give a presentation, your reputation, or that of your company, is at stake. Thus, it is important for any visual support material to look professional and polished. You need it to look modern and dynamic so you can appear on top of things and in complete control. One way to help accomplish this is through the use of visual branding, tastefully placing your company's logos, marks, and product images into your presentation. Presenter supports the use of fully dynamic 3D branding as illustrated here. Treatments such as these are created using 3D content creation software from Autodesk coupled with the use of the Presenter Authoring Toolkit. Presenter also provides innovative ways to create integrated dynamic branding from standard 2D static images. Here are some examples showing a simple branding image appearing as a corner logo, during transitions, and as an integrated component of an FX theme. Achieving these results is as simple as telling Presenter which branding images to use and then assigning the appropriate transitions, variations, and inserts to your presentation. There is one key issue to keep in mind with regard to the branding images themselves. Generally speaking, the aspect ratio, or rectangular shape, must be either 4 by 3 or 16 by 9, i.e. they must match either traditional TV or newer HDTV shapes. If your logo, brand, or product image is not of the required aspect ratio, you will need to use an image editing program to either crop the image to size or extend its background to achieve the desired shape. Otherwise, distortion will appear when presenter renders the branding elements. Note that tall images of 3 by 4 aspect ratio, while supported by presenter, are not used by many branding elements. Now, let's see precisely how branding images and elements are assigned. Starting with these two images, let's add branding to this short slide deck. We begin by telling presenter to use these particular images for branding elements. To do this, go to the Prefs panel in FX Edit and click on the button labeled Choose Branding Images. This brings up a dialog box where we can select the images shown earlier. Since we will be using theme, transition, and insert scenes that take 2D branding images, we need to assign our desired branding images to the appropriate slot in each of these main categories. You can use branding images with transparency or ones that are fully opaque. For this tutorial, our images are transparent outside the colored regions, so we have assigned them to the transparent slots. You can assign separate opaque images if you want. With the images assigned, the only remaining steps are to choose a brandable theme, then add in brandable transitions and logo inserts. Note that you can choose to use just some brandable elements, say transitions, without using the others. For the purpose of this tutorial, we are admittedly overdoing the branding for the sake of completeness. To choose a brandable FX theme, filter the theme selection list by checking the box labeled Must Be Brandable. Once an FX theme is chosen, you can assign branded variations to your slides as desired. To add a branded transition, choose the Branded category in the middle transition drop-down box then select from the available transitions that use branding images with transparency. If you entered opaque images earlier, you could also use the opaque base transitions here. With no opaque images assigned, you see just a placeholder image. Finally, to add a corner logo based on your 2D branding image, go to the Insert panel and choose an insert scene from the Brand Display category. For example, let's choose the Ping Pong Transparent scene. This brings up a gently rocking version of your logo. Use the standard controls here to position the logo in the lower right or manipulate the position interactively in PowerPoint. If you want the logo to remain fixed in the corner even during transitions, check the box labeled Ignore Transitions. You can place this logo on all slides by clicking on the Assign to All button. Here is the presentation in all its branded glory. As we mentioned earlier, for a normal presentation, we wouldn't recommend using all these branding elements on each slide. Branding has the most powerful and professional impact when used with discretion. Just like perfume, a little goes a long way. To learn more about Presenter's unique ability to support custom branding, we suggest you view the 3D Branding tutorial next.